Alrighty, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and um, right off the bat here, let me go ahead and intro this music. <clears throat> this is going to be some uh, Dark Agorian and Byzantine chants, so just in a chanting mood today. So let me go ahead and rewind this, and um... Got to put my headphones on just a moment. And I also forgot to sound test this, so some real bad preparation on my part. Yeah, still not loud enough. Okay, but um this is gonna be uh, mostly a freestyle cast. Um, I did it, I did next to no preparation at all on this one, so I'm, I'm mostly just going right off the top of my head, and I'm probably going to turn that down a little bit. Uh, but otherwise, um, I didn't stream yesterday, it's just, um, I, I woke up with a sore throat, just thinking I was going to get a cold or a flu or something. Uh, plus, my lower to mid back was just aching like crazy, so it must have been a rough night at work. Um, and then on top of that, the uh, like the four or five hours of sleep that I got was all dream and nightmare filled. So there wasn't really much of a point in me. In, in, there wasn't much of me. What wasn't much of a point in me trying to stream? It seems uh, English is my second language right now. Uh, my default being gibberish. Anyway, um, but uh, just I've been pretty much pretty much uh, just been uh most of the most of the evening, most of the night, um, just pretty much spinning my wheels. Um, and I was also in an idle game mood, so I think I. Uh, Fired up a few of the idle games I've played over the years. Um, I tried getting Cookie Clicker going, but uh, I it, the game went missing, for lack of a better word. Um, maybe it's one of my bookmarks. I'll have to dig it up. Um, I played uh, what's called Realm Grinder, but I, that and like Cookie Clicker, they're you. Oh, and then there's this one here, too. Um, Clicker Heroes. I've been having this one running um, evening, night, and as we speak. But uh, anyway, like I was saying, uh, Realm Grinder and Cookie Clicker, they're the kind of games that progression on them is actually pretty hard. It just... It gets, it gets, it gets to a point where you can hardly advance in them, so... I just check on them once in a great while. So, um, but yeah, then there, then otherwise, I just, I just, pretty much just lazed around, just watched random stuff, listened to random stuff. Oh, one of one of them was um, I watched uh, the thirtieth episode of Dragon Ball, um, just. Watch that after the tournament's all over, and <clears throat> just Goku saving a village and that kind of thing. And I also um, I watched the uh, very first episode of Dragon Ball Z. So I'm um, uh, it's been recommended to me that I could just go ahead and skip um, uh, I could just go ahead and skip Dragon Ball entirely and go straight to Dragon Ball Z, but the the completionist in me wants to see all the Dragon Balls first, but I thought what I'd go ahead and do is just, why not both? You know, watch both Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So, again, um, watch the first episode, but I'm having a real problem with this. Um, I can buy Season 1 on Amazon, but unfortunately it almost costs 100 bucks. Uh, I know. I could watch it for free on YouTube, but they're all the abridged versions. They're all the uh, they're all edited. And um 
And if, uh, if, if season one on Amazon, if I gotta pay a hundred bucks for that thing, I want, that stuff's gotta be uncut. But the problem is, is it, in the, um, in the description, I think I looked at some of the reviews, no mention is made whether or not the stuff is uncensored or not. So, that leaves, uh, that leaves YouTube. But again, all the ones on there, they're all the uh, edited ones. So, but, uh, as far as how I got the, uh, how I saw the first episode, I paid for that one. I think it was like two ninety nine or something like that. So, there had better been a, there, there had better be a shit ton of episodes in, in order to justify the, the hundred dollar cost. But again, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if the episode I watched was uh, edited or not. So yeah, and I, you know, so yeah, I'd be, I'd be pretty pissed off if, uh, if I plunked out a hundred bucks for it and only to find that all of it was cut. And uh, I did, I did also see a video, um, on um what was edited out of those, and uh, and, and what I saw it didn't surprise me. All the uh, blood and gore is cut out. All the all the sexual stuff is cut out. So. So basically, Master Roshi is going to be a clean-cut, nice guy in this one, and not the, uh, and not the dirty old man that he was in the original Dragon Ball. So, in oh yeah, and they were also uh, they also cut out all the death, all the all the people dying and stuff. All that got cut out. So yeah, like I, like I said, if I got plunked out a hundred bucks for season one. Then I want I want to see all of it. I don't want to see some bastardized bastardized version of it. So yeah, I'd be pissed. Oh, I'm uh, I'm taking a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. But uh, yeah, I um, I um, I almost wish I would have streamed though, cause like 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 I said, man, it just it it wasn't. I mean, again, this wasn't something that um, it wasn't something that I just up and you know up and willingly willingly did. I mean, it's it's my night off, so I mean it. I mean, I had a I'd have an easier time not streaming on a work night because because even if I do stream I'm only going to be on maybe a couple two two and a half maybe three hours you know my cutoff time is usually usually around 5 p.m. you know so I can get my block taken care of which now that I think about it let me um let me look at my notepad real quick okay so I haven't I haven't jotted stuff down on my notepad but it, not a not a full block, so yeah, that's the kind of day it's been. I've had that happen before. Just go a whole entire day and completely forget to write stuff down on my blog. So it looks like today was another one of those days. Hopefully, I should be able to. I should be able to do a stream tomorrow. I mean, because the uh, the sore throat I had, which I thought was going to lead into a full blown cold or flu, it went away in the late evening. Um, the the back pain. I took a. I think I took one ibuprofen. I just I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of popping pills. I mean, I've been I've been down that road before. It's not something I want to do again, even if my back is hurting like crazy. 
All I want to like maybe take one, maybe two. But I've had, I've had days where I'm just sitting here popping like two or three ibuprofen every few hours, and no, no. And I, I guess uh, if anyone was curious as to why I don't stream in the evenings, well, because nobody's on in the evenings. I've done, I, I've gone that route before, especially like late evening. It's like, you know, everybody's having, you know, everybody's having dinner, or they're all going to bed and all that, so no one's really on. Um, the most I could probably hope for would be uh would be like a probably around 4 or 5 a.m. my time but by that time I'm probably uh I'm winding down getting ready to get ready to lay down for the day so yeah that that was that was something I did back when I was streaming pinball like around five about four or five years ago it's like I think I would start at like 2 30 a.m. And it'd be, it'd be just me and Kataro 87 It'd be just me and him for next several hours. And then, and then uh, I think uh, it would start picking up around 5 a.m. But by the, you know, by the time that rolls around, I'm probably either so, either just burnt out or frustrated from all the pinball I've been playing. It just, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much, pretty much wanting to go on cooldown, and then um, when 7 a.m. hits, I guess um, everybody in England gets off work, and they all <laughs> make a beeline for my stream, which I, I end up feeling bad. But by by the time 7 a.m. hits, I'm wanting out of there, so I've actually ticked off a few, I've actually ticked off a few Englishmen doing that. You know, but I'm sorry, man. I mean, we just we got different schedules. You know, or uh, I think if, if it's a uh, Tuesday or Wednesday morning, I got laundry day. I gotta get in there and get you know. I gotta have access to a to a washer and dryer before before other people start getting down there at 7 a.m. You know, with their three or four loads of laundry hogging the whole entire room. So. But yeah, note to self, um, if it's a night off, stream anyway, no matter what. Hopefully I'll remember that. Oh god, there's something else I was wanting to talk about too. Yeah, as... As kind of a it's kind of a corollary to that. I just that uh the the Dragon Ball Z video that I saw about censorship. I think it was like the very first the very first scene they showed. Just nonstop. Beep 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 beep. It's like nearly every other word that was coming out of their mouths is getting bleeped out. It it uh I'm, you know. You know, and I'll and I'll watch. You know, I'll watch your various other fighting game videos too. You know, some of the guys on there they get frustrated. You know, when they lose and they just start cursing and swearing. But you know, because of the channel they're on or whatever, they gotta maintain a clean image. I mean, the the fighting gamers on there, it's beep 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 beep. beep, beep, beep. Or some of the channels try to get creative and they do like a bunch of different other various sound effects to try to bleep out the swear words, but, you know, just leave the shit in. You know, so it, it, it this isn't just, this isn't just blind censorship, you know, blind anti-censorship, you know, I'm not just trying to be some retro hippie, you know, hippie hipster dude or anything like that, it just, you know, for one, it, it kills, it kills the moment. I mean, especially, again, especially when it comes to something like fighting games, you know, you're sitting here trying your ass off, trying to beat your opponent, you know, you know, they get salty, they get frustrated, you know, they end up, they end up losing, fucking shit, shit, fuck, 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 
that, you know, some people are like that. You know, they end up cursing up a storm, but you know, it just, sometimes it's cool as hell to watch. You know, some of the, some of the salty, ter is it tirades or tirades? I don't know how it's pronounced, but you know, I mean, some people really go off and sometimes it's, it's bad as it might sound, it's actually pretty awesome to watch because some, some guys, um, comedian Joey Diaz, I mean, he's, he's, I mean, he's not a gamer, but you know, somebody like him, he can go off on a massive rat and he's actually, there's, there's a certain beauty and grace for, for, for lack of a better word that he, you know, that he has when he swears and stuff. I mean, he's one of those who's awesome as hell when he's pissed. I mean, some of the, you know, some of these fighting gamers, when they lose, or, or even when they win, they're freaking awesome to watch when they're mad. So, censoring all the stuff, they, you know, censoring all the swear words, it just kills that awesomeness. And then, secondly, secondly, I mean, you know, something else that occurred to me after watching this uh, Dragon Ball Z video, you know, with all that, all that beeping and stuff, it, it just makes your videos look, you know, makes your videos sound like ass. You know, I mean, it's bad enough that, you know, you're killing the swear words, but now you're making the video even worse by the beep, 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 you know, or, or here, let me, yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole trouble pulling out my soundboard, but you kind of get the idea, you know, some of the more creative channels, they'll use various other sound effects to cover up the swear words, but even then, it just, you know, it just sounds like someone's just banging on a fucking soundboard. You know, see, so, interviews do it too. You know, they're inter you know, they're interviewing guys who curse and swear a lot. But again, it just, it makes your, it makes your video sound like complete ass, you know. And even, even the ones where, where they don't use beeps and they don't use other sound effects. Instead, they just mute the swear words. Oh, hell, I just... It just occurred to me. Um, the channel's called GQ, as in GQ Magazine. They're actually the worst. I just thought about this. This is one of the reasons why um, if if you could dislike somebody's channel, I'd be heading right for it and doing it. Because they're not just... They're not just bleeping out the swearing. They're, um... They're, uh, they're blocking out the mouth. Or they're pixelating the mouth. I mean, they're, I mean, they're completely muzzling these people. Like, you can't, I mean, you can't hear them, and you can't even see what they're swearing either. You can't read their lips. That's fucking lame right there. You know, it, you know, and there's other ways around this. It, I just, yeah, I just started thinking about this. You know, if the person you want on your show is is known to curse like a sailor, don't have him on your program. I would rather, I would rather him not be on there at all than to have him on there and just have, you know, basically completely mu muzzle the guy. You know. You know, and, and if he's, if, you know, if the potential interviewee if he, you know, swears once in a while here and there, then so what? I mean, if, you know, if it's just a swear word here and there, just let it slide. You know, or... Or even, better yet, or maybe it's another alternative, put them under contract. Like, um, every time you swear, you'll be fined... Ten thousand dollars, or something like that, you know, or you know, something to quote, you know, if it's like a a super rich person like Jack Nicholson, just to toss a name out there, you know, find them ten, you know, give them this, you know, give them this list of uh, words that they don't want him saying saying during the podcast or whatever, and then you know, and then you know, make him sign the contract, like every time he says this particular swear word, he'll be fined. Ten thousand dollars, or you know, a dollar amount enough to make him, you know, really, you know, consider what, he, you know, look before he leaps. Like, 
guess the phrase I'm looking for. But I'm taking another drink of tea. Hold on. <coughs> but like but like I said, today today and hopefully if I can remember to from here on after um, if it's a night off and unless I'm just absolutely totally debilitated um, I'm gonna stream so but you know cause it just one it, it felt like a wasted opportunity and two because I quote unquote only get four days off a week but you know, like I said, going going back to what I said a few moments ago, it just it feels like a wasted opportunity, and two, it it feels like a waste of a day too. Because I mean, even during the period of time that I wasn't streaming, um, I was sat up, fiddle fired around for about an hour, and then took a one hour nap, which was something else too. Uh, I can't be you know I can't be taking naps all night, because take too many that basically robs me of any potential sleep that I'll actually get around 6 a.m. So so yeah so once again most certainly I'll be streaming tomorrow and here on after unless I have a very good reason uh, I'll always be streaming on my nights off so again pop some ibuprofen or you know do whatever I gotta do so but but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, though. I appreciate that. Always do. And um, But, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Um, I can't think of anything else I want to say. And I'm already a little bit over the 15-minute 15 15 minute default time that I usually like to spend doing these casts. So I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but, thanks, but thanks again, once again. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, take care, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.